Hello and welcome to the sixth part of this course. Today we are going to install the Viewfire, which is a library that makes it a little bit easier to get collections from Firebase. We are also going to make it possible to get categories from Firebase and add new ones. The first we can do is to install a Viewfire. Then my command line I write npm install Viewfire at next because we need a branch which is next because that supports Vue.js 3.0. When that's finished, we can go to the Firebase console. So just sign in there and go to console, select our project and go to database. And we select Cloud Firestore up here and add collection. And here we can say categories next and we can add one category field should be a title and it should be a string and the value can be documentaries save next we can do is go back to the code and start implementing this first you can do is to import viewfire And under here we can say view use view fire and save. We also need to import Firestore. And under here we can say export const db equals firebase dot fire. Now we can use this in every other components and save. Then we can go to the dashboard and import this variable. Open up dashboard and on top we say import db from main. Under the data array we can say firestore Return categories db dot collection categories and save. And then I can go back to the browser to test this. I can click on YouTube up here. And you see that it pulled the documentaries, but we have to print the title and not the object itself. So up here I have to say dot title. I can also remove these three defaults and click save. And now you can see documentaries is printed here as a tab. Next thing we need to do now is to add a create button up here. So if you go back to the code and select app.view, scroll down to the logout button and you can say here p pause and in here I can create a button and say show category form equals not show category form. So if this is set to true, it will automatically change to not true on the other way. This button is primary, so it will be a green button. And I saved it was showed up here. Also need to add this grouped div outside. And save. Then we can add this variable to the data array. False. And then we can add the modal where the category form will be shown. I want to build my IO to copy the code for the modal window. So I can just copy this, paste it. 
and when I click the close button I want to hide the form so I just copy this paste it here to make the module window show we need to add a, this active class we can do that by adding a class binding this active which is the class will show when show category is true and then I can go back to the browser to test this if I click add category the model window will show and I can close it then we can go back to the code to add some content to the model here I can say form at submit.prevent add category I just want a title and a button so I give class field input type text Class input. I want to bind it to a title variable so the V model title. Under I want to add the button. I can give it a class of button is success, so it's green. I save now and test it again. You'll see that there is an input field and a button for adding the movie. There's an error telling me that the title is not defined, so we can go ahead, scroll down, title, save. But we also need to add the method for adding the category to the database. So I can go top of here category uh, I can say const category equals title this title under here I say db dot collection and under here I can say db dot collection categories dot add category after this I want to hide the model window so I just said this dot show category form equals false and this dot title equals empty. I need to import the DDB so up here I said import db from main. Now I can go back to the browser to test this. Trailers and add. And trailers was automatically added here. Next we want to add navigation so we can click on this. So I go to dashboard.view and I can remove this because I want to bind this to the variable. I can say class is active if active category equals newest. And the same goes for this under here. To copy this and say it's it will be showing if active category is category dot title. Okay, sorry about that one. And I can copy this category and down here I say that it's now newest because that's the default category. And you'll see that newest still has this class. We have to make this dynamically, so when we click this, we have to set the variable to be the to be this title. So in this link as a click set category category dot title. This function also needs to be available in the newest, so I just copy this. But there I have to say newest. We need to set this method. So if I scroll down under Firestore methods, and in here I said this active category equals title. I save now and go back. 
can click on documentaries and that will come blue because it's active. We don't have any movies yet, but we can show the navigation. And that was it for this part. Now we have made it possible to add categories and show them here in the dashboard. In the next part, we are going to make it possible to add a movie and they will also be printed in the newest and under the correct category.